This program is brought to you in part by Top Dog Cleaning Co., offering award-winning residential and commercial cleaning services in the Ottawa area. The workouts featured in the following show may not be suitable for everyone. It is recommended that you consult a physician before beginning any fitness program. Hi there, this is Meg from AIM Fitness and I'm here with Little Fit Finley <laughs> and I am a certified personal trainer and older adult fitness expert. And in today's video, we are going to be focusing on some seated exercises for strength. So we're gonna be using weights. We're also gonna be using resistance bands in our workout for upper body and core strength. So you're gonna love what, we're gonna, what I've got for you today. All right, now in order to get started, we're gonna begin with a warm up. So I encourage you to sit right on the edge of your chair so you've lots of space behind you. We're gonna start by circling those shoulders backwards. So it's really important as we're thinking about building strength that we do things um, in order to prevent injury. So one way of doing this is to make sure that you warm up before you exercise. All right, let's go the other way, change directions of those circles. All right, so I'm gonna remind you to breathe as we go. Sometimes people tend to hold their breath as they're exercising. And then something else I'll, I'll be uh, referring to and letting you know about are beginner and advanced options. All right, place those hands here on your shoulders and we're gonna circle both arms backwards. So I do encourage you to listen to your body, do what you can, and if you do have a medical condition or um, maybe a past injury where you can't do everything that I'm doing, that's okay. Just follow along at your own pace. All right, let's change directions here. Now you'll notice this workout is done sitting down. So this is perfect if you find that you spend a lot of time sitting and these are exercises you can incorporate into your day. Now from here, we're gonna reach right in front. All right, now if you are at the advanced level and you prefer to stand during a lot of these exercises, then feel free to do so. All right, let's change it up. We're gonna reach right overhead. Good, do your best to straighten your arm, but if you're only able to go halfway, that's fine, you can do that. All right, let's keep breathing in and out, two more. And one. All right, and then we're gonna be reaching right across your body. As you do so, let's look over that shoulder. All right, so stretching your back, stretching that neck as well. Now, if you do have osteoporosis, I do encourage you to keep your torso facing the front of the room. So you don't need to worry about uh, anything damaging your spine. All right, otherwise you can keep on going. I'll do three, and two, and one. All right, so we're gonna start with our weights. So grab those weights. All right, so I really like to do combination exercises. So that's where there's two exercises that are combined. This is a really good use of time if you don't have much time to exercise. And it also keeps you really focused on what you're doing instead of thinking about your to-do list. So what we'll do first is we're gonna hold on to those weights right here at your side. Make sure you're still on the edge of your chair so you can sit up nice and tall. We're gonna start with a nice easy bicep curl where you're going to curl the weight up to your shoulder and then lower down slowly. Good, and then we're gonna take it to a wide curl. So you'll notice my arms are going a little wider here out to the side. And same thing here. All right, let's take it back to a narrow curl right in front and down. Breathing in and out as we go. And then let's take it a little bit wider. All right, very good. Great, so we're gonna continue here. Focus on your breathing. Really think about sitting up nice and tall. Great posture, this is a good time to work on it. All right. Awesome, we're gonna continue, front, head, and lifting a little bit wider to the side. All right, looks good, let's do one more. One more round, 
front and wide. All right. Awesome. Let's set those weights down just for a sec as you circle the shoulders back. I like doing this in between because it really helps you to relax those shoulders and not hold on to any tension in your shoulders or back. All right. Good. So we've got another good one for you. For the next one, we're going to be focusing on our shoulders. So let's hold on to the weights right in front of your shoulders and we're going to do one arm at a time, pressing right overhead. If you can only do halfway, that's okay. Listen to that body. Now from here, we're going to add that forward punch. Good. All right. Now, if you don't have weights, maybe you're thinking, oh, I don't have the right weights. You can also use canned goods. You can also use water bottles. All of those things work well. But I'd recommend anywhere from two to five pounds, depending on your ability level and where you're at in your fitness journey. All right, great. So pressing up overhead. Good. And punching out front. All right. So again, you do have that option to stand if you prefer to stand. I'm going to be sitting down today. All right. Good. Now, one of my tips for you is to not stop exercising. Now, I've worked with a woman who injured her hip and she had the decision to either put her fitness on hold or to keep going. And she decided to keep going. So she decided to focus on upper body strength exercises and to give her legs a bit of a break. So if this is you, maybe you're thinking, yeah, uh, it's my hips, it's my knee. Um, don't stop your workout routine. And I invite you to exercise with me regularly. All right, one more round here. All right, feeling those arms working. Good, last one, last punch. All right, good. Let's lower the weights and circle the sh shoulders backwards. Good, notice how you're feeling here. Now for the next one, we're gonna lower those arms right beside you. All right, and we're again gonna do a combination exercise. The first one is this. We're gonna be lifting those weights up. Elbows are wide, uh, weights come up to your armpits. Lower down, and then we're gonna lift up to the side, our lat raise. All right, so lifting up and lower down and lifting up and down. All right, now this one is really focusing on shoulders. So if you need to adjust um, and go a little bit lower, so you can always go just a little bit. And also this one, you don't have to go quite as high. All right, so listen to that body. Keep on breathing as well. Good, breathing in and out. All right, you're doing great. I'm gonna do just a few more. Good, all right, let's do two more. Two more reps of each. Good, and one. All right, definitely feel that one. Woo, let's circle the shoulders back. All right, great job. All right, so another part of the arm that a lot of people like to tone is the back of the arm, the triceps. Now for this one, we're gonna set one weight to the floor, out of the way. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Make sure that your hip is close to the edge of your chair so you have lots of space. We're gonna lean in, place your hand on your knee and curl that weight up towards your shoulder and then extend that arm back. So here we go, we're curling up and extending back. Breathing in and breathe out. Now try to relax your neck by looking towards the floor for this one. Good. All right, toning that arm. This is a good one. Good, let's do two more. And one more time. All right, let's switch to that other side. All right, this is our last exercise before our, our break. I do encourage you to have a sip of water really important to keep ourselves hydrated as we exercise. Good. All right, three more. Two. And one. All right, I will see you after our break. See you in a few minutes.
This program is brought to you in part by Top Dog Cleaning Co. Offering award-winning residential and commercial cleaning services in the Ottawa area. All right, welcome back. So we're going to now move to a few exercises with the band. So what I want you to do is I want you to position that band right underneath your feet. All right, now make sure it's not too close to the toes. Don't want it to slip off. And then walk your feet a little further away from your body, but keep those knees bent. Now what we'll do here, this is the row, so it's a really good one to strengthen your upper to mid back. We're going to start by doing one arm at a time. And I do encourage you to walk your hands down that band until the band is nice and tight. So this will help you to really get a good workout and you'll feel your arms and especially your back working. All right, now option one is this. If you have had a shoulder or arm injury or one side is a bit weaker, do this. Now, if you're looking for the advanced option, you can double up. So what I'm gonna do, and you can choose to follow along, is to do single, single, double. So one arm, other arm, and then both together. All right, here we go. So single, single, and double. Give it a good pull. And this is a really good exercise to help improve your posture. So if you have found that posture has gotten worse, then think about adding this one into your daily routine. All right, good, we're gonna do a few more. Remember to keep on breathing as we go. All right, looks good. All right. Good, we'll do just a few more here. Let's do three. Awesome. And two. All right, one more time, one more round. And squeeze back, all right, excellent. Now we're gonna walk those feet in, keep the band right beneath your, your feet. And uh, you can move back a little bit further back into that chair. We're gonna move to our bicep curl. So we're gonna hold on to that band, holding on with your hands, and I want you to lift the band and curl the, the, the hand up towards your shoulder. So keep that elbow close to your body as you do this. All right, so again, you can choose to do one arm at a time, like I'm doing, or the advanced option is to do both arms up together. All right, good. All righty, you've got this. Now I've got a fit tip for you guys today, and the fit tip is if you want to have accountability and if you want to stay a little bit more um, in, in your routine, get an exercise buddy. Now I've worked with a lot of people over the years who have exercised with a friend, maybe gone for walks with people in the neighborhood or exercise with their spouse. And it is so, so awesome when people make exercising a social event. So I encourage you to share this segment with a friend, uh, maybe tell someone about ways that they can get active with a band or a weight and pass on the knowledge, but see if someone wants to join you for the journey. Cause it's so much fun when you can exercise with a buddy. Alrighty, let's circle the shoulders back. That's a great one. And we've got one more with the band for the upper body. Then we're gonna move to your core. All right, so let's do two more circles here. And then we're gonna be lifting up nice and wide. So here you wanna have the band um, held on, hold on to the band nice and tight. Lift that elbow a little bit higher than your shoulders. So let's lift and pull. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. And this is another good one that will help improve your, your shoulder and your arm strength. And especially those of you who are lifting heavy groceries from maybe from the cart or off the shelf into your home. We need to have strong upper bodies for all that we're doing day to day. And this one really makes me think of carrying my heavy purse around. So if you have a heavy bag <laughs> that you lug around, this is gonna be an awesome exercise for you. Let's do a few more here. Good. All right, we'll do three more. Breathing in and out, two, Good, and one. All right, excellent, that's great. So we're gonna bring that band out from underneath your feet. Let's circle those arms back. 
do a quick stretch. And then we're going to change the position of the band to work on that core. All right. So here we go. We're just like you're skipping rope. Let's take that band right behind you. All right. And we want it to be just about at your waist, waist area. All right. So what we'll do, I know I've been really encouraging you to sit up straight. Now what we'll do is we'll sit on the edge of your chair and then recline all the way back so that your shoulders are touching the back of that chair. And we're going to be doing a crossover. So hold on to that band. It should be tight as your elbows are bent. And we're going to start by lifting your knee and crossing that arm and pulling the band right past that knee. All right. Awesome. Now, you should feel that core tightening up, but if you aren't yet, something that will help is to tighten. So pull in, just like you're doing up a pair of pants every time you lift the knee. So tighten and release, and tighten and release. All right, awesome. So this is one of my favorite ones. I have a lot of favorite exercises. <laughs> you may notice that I say that often and you'll know, you'll notice as well that I really love exercising. I love inspiring people over the age of 50 to move more often. So if you feel inspired, I would love to hear from you. Be sure to connect and also be sure to share this video and this segment with someone you love who you think could benefit as well. All right. Let's do just a few more here. Let's do three. And two. And one. All right, good. Now we're gonna lower that band to the side. For this next one, we're just gonna be using the chair. And I want you to place your hands right on the edge of that chair. We're gonna be lifting one knee at a time. So the beginner option is to do one leg at a time Every time you lift the knee, tighten up the core. And then the advanced option is to do both knees up together. This one is definitely more challenging. All right, give it a try. And then the other option is to do a hybrid model. So one knee, one knee, and then both together. All right, feel that core working. All right, awesome job. All right, keep on breathing. We're going to do just a few more. All right. This is a really good exercise you can do right in front of the TV. All right. Good. We're going to do a few more. Last three. And two. All right. Sure you can feel that working. One more. All right, amazing. So let's take a quick break, have some water, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Fit Over 50 with Meg was recorded on the traditional unceded, unsurrendered territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe people. Welcome back. So we're going to end our workout today with just a few more exercises for the core using your weight and then we'll move to some stretches. So I encourage you to sit on the edge of your chair so you've got lots of space. Walk those feet out, heels to the floor, lift the toes up. We're going to hold on to one weight and we're going to take that weight side to side. So tapping either towards your hip or to the side of your chair. All right, now as you do this, we want to tighten up that core. Keep on breathing. Good. All right, now if you've got osteoporosis, this is a really good exercise for you that is safe for your back and for your spine. Now, if you are someone without osteoporosis, you can add a little bit more of a twist and you can also lean back a little further towards the back of that chair. All right. Now, if you are looking for more of an advanced option, I encourage you to lift your leg as you're tapping to that same side. So this will have your core be en engage a little bit more. All right. Good. Let's do a few more here. Choosing that option. 
Good. Let's do three. And two. And one. All right, bring those feet in. I've got one more for our core. This one is called the wood chop. You can do this one standing, but the seated looks like this. We're gonna lift that weight up and then we'll take it down towards your hip. Let's reach up, good, and then lower that weight to the side. Breathing in and breathing out. Tightening up the core as you press up, tightening up the core as you twist. Two more on this side. And one. All right, we're going to do the other side here. So again, extend up and it's to the side, twist and lower. All right, awesome. Let's do two more. And one more time. All right, way to go. Set that weight down. Let's move into some stretches. All right, we're gonna figure eight those arms out to the side and cross right in front. All right, now I invite you to pay attention to see how you're feeling. If you feel a little bit more energized, maybe a bit more motivated. Good, two more in front and one. Now we're gonna reach those arms up and then down your back. See if you can lift those elbows up towards the ceiling. Walk your fingers down your back. Hold it here, take a few deep breaths. All right, so if you're over the age of 50, I wanna let you know uh, that it is recommended to uh, have 150 minutes of exercise every single week. So lower the arms, take one arm across, hand here, press into that elbow and push that arm in. Now, the good news is the 150 minutes doesn't all have to be done at one time. Now, um, the Canadian guidelines do say that you can divide it into 30 minute segments. So that would be exercising Monday to Friday for 30 minutes at a time, or you can also choose to do it in 10 minute segments. That counts as well. So the fact that you're here exercising with me is a good sign. You're getting that movement in. So I encourage you to look at other ways you can stay active this week and this month. All right, very good. Now let's bring one arm in front, place your hands by your, by your fingers, pulling gently back. This is a good stretch for that forearm. Keep the arms straight. All right, and then don't forget my fit tip, which was to find an exercise buddy. Because if you have someone who calls you up, who encourages you to move and keeps you accountable to exercise, you're more likely to do it than relying on yourself. Other side, press back. Good, that's great. All right, let's bring those arms down here now and bring those arms nice and wide, looking up towards the ceiling. Breathing in and then breathing out, looking down, bringing your hands, maybe your elbows in as well. And look up, squeezing back, and then bringing your hands and elbows in. Good. If you've got osteoporosis, keep going with this option. Otherwise, you can choose to look up and round your back. Good. We're going to go for three and two. And one. All right, awesome. So I hope you're feeling great. Let's finish up with some breathing. Bring those arms nice and wide. Inhale and exhale out. Inhale and exhale out. Let's do two more. And one more time. Good. Bring those hands to your heart. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Now, remember to keep on moving, keep up the good work, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. We hope you enjoyed today's workout. Don't forget to visit rogerstv.com for schedules and listings of other great workout programs that you can enjoy right in the comfort of your own home. Exercise is just one of the steps we can take towards healthy living. Be sure to safeguard your home against hazards that could result in slips, trips, and falls. Don't forget to schedule regular health checkups with your providers and enrich your body with plenty of rest, water, and nutrient-dense foods.
Visit ottawapublichealth.ca or call them at 613-580-6744 for some excellent tips and publications on the many ways you can maintain a healthy, safe, and happy lifestyle. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.